go to effects over here toggle effects on okay but the first of all prepare your your node over here okay so i'm gonna this is a spare node i'm gonna put film look here name it film look i'm gonna go here to effects over here and you see you have to go and look for film look creator okay so what you have to go and do just grab this and put it on top just like this boom and then you're gonna see it okay so you're gonna see it here so what's cool about film look creator it has a few presets uh, it has the default 65 the default 35 the cinematic the bleach bypass i personally like the 35 millimeters you can put it on you see and i like the cinematic cinematic actually straight away gives you this this look see cinematic see it has this um but actually you can have it default 35 and then later on add the the black bars okay what's cool about this you see you have color space of overrides as well so you can actually override your color space but you know if you don't know about the color space um just don't use it because you already have your color space in place here um and then you have the color settings over here you can actually control the exposure with one knob over here the contrast which is pretty pretty incredible and then even the highlights everything done in one node on your tree node this is quite incredible quite remarkable and you see you have the split tone over here go to split tone this is a very um specific um film look so you have the the amount you have the hue angle you can create a very very precise uh film look like a very vintage look if you're if you want to but obviously you know you have to have good footage as well I mean, if you shot in log then you'll have a lot of details to play with pretty pretty cool I mean, look at that quite incredible isn't it and then again if i disable it you see if you don't want to touch the split tone no problem you can go to vignette over here you see as the vignette you put the amount but it's so subtle you know it's so so subtle which is incredible if you don't if you don't like it just go here reset it halation as well you see this is the halation over here obviously i shot this with um with a um with a filter with a promised filter which gets my highlights bloomed a little bit so it actually sort of creates this halation effect but if i didn't have that obviously that would be a good effect sort with the bloom as well see you won't see a huge difference here with the bloom because i already have the effect created in camera with my black promised filter okay the grain this is pretty cool look at this if i get the eight millimeter grain and if i put it in full screen look at this grain and it looks natural actually pretty pretty good this is actually a very short clip but but still quite incredible quite incredible and actually if i want to copy this node i just go and command c and i go to the previous also to the next um clip and i get here and i paste it this is if you want to use um, a sort of like an, an effect uh, for Instagram, YouTube, sort of like create a vintage effect. You see, I've got the 35 millimeter set. You know, you've got the Super 16 look. You've got the 2.4 to 1. This is pretty good, actually. And I would definitely use this a lot, you know, because, you know, it's, it's, it's already there, you know. Enable curvature or disable curvature. You should put enable curvature. You've got the curvature over here. If you disable this, then obviously, you know, it's going to disable. You've got the padding as well, which is pretty good. See, enable film gate there. And then you have the gate weave as well. The rate as well. You can play around with these settings. I mean, there's so many things here. And also one very important thing is the global blend. You see, 
it actually gets your effect to 100% or gets it down to zero. Obviously, if you have your film gate over here, then obviously better don't do it. But if you don't, you see how the effect works. But this is quite incredible. Look at this. I don't think that the film look creator is going to replace like plugins, professional plugins like Dehancer, or it's going to give you that professional film look that, you know, the Hollywood Productions uses. I don't think so, but it's a quick way to get this sort of like overlay of a film look and it's so easily done and it's so fast and it looks really good. It looks realistic. So I will definitely experiment with this and I will definitely use it a lot. So for me personally, these two features in DaVinci Resolve 19 are worth upgrading and even without these two features, I mean DaVinci Resolve Studio version, whatever, what it offers and what it gives you and the live opportunities being an editor and there's so much information out there for free it's absolutely incredible so just go and get your studio version and create and start making a living on davinci resolve because it's a no-brainer honestly thanks so much hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it interesting and useful and you got some value out of it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care happy creation bye bye